Today we're going to take a look at Ideal Industries Twin and Earth Strippers. As he would say, Twin and CPC. I usually use a knife. Well, if you usually use a knife, I'll have them. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can use a knife. That's what you'd normally do, is it? In a previous life, yes, I was uh, fond of the knife. However, I think by the end of this video, you can see that I'm quite fond of these now, yeah. Yeah, and these, we've featured these a lot on the yeah. channel in our videos, because we've been using these for about the last six months, we actually, have. extensively, so we thought it's about time we actually did a review so we can share the fun with everybody else. Right, so we've got a section of cables in front of us. We've got uh, twin and CPC, sorry. Twin, Twin and Earth. Earth cables. We've got uh, a flat flex. We've got single uh, stranded cables as well. I'm going to put it through its paces. So first of all, let's just do a little bit of technical stuff. It goes up to 2.5 millimeter squared cable. Is that correct? On the conductor size, yes. It does, I and mean, that's about 12 million diameter for your Twin and CPC cables. Yeah. So we think it'll cope all the way up to Twin and Earth, Gary. It'll cope all the way up to your flat three corn Earth. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Or three corn. CPC. Well, so. okay, if we don't get too confused. Right, so we're going to bring Hankam in because we just love doing this, don't we? Okay, so let's bring Hankam in. Where are you going to start? Yeah, uh, I'll start. Well, we'll start with the 2.5. 2.5. Now, we've got a couple of selections of different 2.5s here, so let's be careful which one you choose first. <laughs> so let's test it out, Gary, on a known cable. We've got our Doncaster cables twin and earth here that we mm. use a lot of. Okay, yeah, we like that. So here's our uh, ideal stripper. Yep. See that mechanism there? Ooh, we like a mechanism. Oh, look at that. Yes. So let's uh, bring the uh, cable in. You can see you can go all the way through the body of the stripper. Okay. So if you have the strip back a lot, say you're doing something in the consumer unit, you can yeah. just keep on pushing that up there forever. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's just go to the end. So it's got a nice close up. Yeah. Oh, it's quite satisfying, isn't nice it? Nice and easy. Yeah. And go back in for the conductors. There you go. Strips yeah. both of them at once. Yeah, I like it. Mm. So that's Doncaster cables. We need a little cross reference. What's the uh, second 2.5 millimeter well, cable? You've been clearing out your garage, Gary, because I found some AI cables here. Thought we were electrical industry trivia. If anyone knows uh, what AI stands for, bang a comment below. Okay, still blue and brown though, yeah. Still blue and brown, but they don't make cable anymore. So okay. this is. Uh, that's a little older then. A little older, but let's. Yeah, might be good to see what on an older cable. Okay, pass it in. Yeah, again, okay, pass it through. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, and then see how much French to... Ah, oh, look at it. Yeah, slips off again. Go no back problem. in for the inner, inner conductors. Yeah, no issues then. Nice. Easy. Something quite satisfying about it as well, isn't there? So that's the 25 millimeter squared cable. It goes up to 12 mil in diameter. I mean, in other words, the width of the cable. What cable are you going to go for next? Well, let's, go the, let's go at the opposite end of the twin and earth spectrum. Okay, going that's for one mil, yeah? Yeah, the one mil. So again, just uh, slip it through, so pass it through lighting. You might have a longer, yeah. longer length required. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the ease of removing the out is down how much chalk in the yeah, cable. Absolutely nothing to do with the tool. The yeah, so again, let's go back in for the uh, conductors. In the conductors. Yeah, look yeah, at that. Doing both at once, so that is a time saver. Okay. Three core is uh, a little wider, plus you've got a uh, 1.5. Three core, so again, yeah. this is a different manufacturer. We right. don't know who Alton is, but there we go. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. Uh, so again, yeah, so three. Three core three, and three core earth or three core three CPC again. Okay, so three core, yeah, I can see the CPC now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that. can we do three oh, conductors? Oh, oh, okay, well, holding go on then, let's see. Of course you can. Yeah, brilliant. Nice. So that's put it through its paces on twin and earth cable, and we knew it was going to come up trumps on that. It, we, we think it can do other things. It can do singles, can't it? It can. Got some singles here. And we've got some flat uh, flex as well, which we're going to give it a try with as well. So do you want your singles first? Yeah, singles first. So yes, yeah, so conduit wire. Okay, yep. Yeah, in we go. Okay. Yeah, look yeah. at that. It's nice and easy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All day long. Yeah, you'd have it in your toolbox every day of the week, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. So two core here, two core flat flex. I think that's 0.75. Is that the smallest it can go down to? It is, yeah. Size? So that's the smallest you can handle. So yeah, we won't, uh, I wouldn't like that. We haven't tried it on a round flex. Okay, so no. Gonna... This is flat. Though, it is a flat it's... cable stripper. So yeah. Again, put in there. Uh... Oh wow. That's easy. So again, that stripper can go the inner, yeah. inner conductors again, two at once. Yeah. So let's go in close. There's no, you know, always check to see if there's any damage at the. The no. conductor level, no, it's good, and there's yeah, none in the uh, out of sheath either. So, mm, nice, that worked well. We like them a lot, okay, these Ideal Industries Twin and Earth strippers. However, we have put them to the test where they've failed, they've, they've not stripped the cable as required. 
Was it a failing of the stripping tool? Uh, no, we think it's the cable, because yeah, you, even you struggle, Gary, with your proven knife method. Okay, yeah, I can get it off with a knife, <laughs> could I? So we've got a cable here. We call this the ugly cable. We've done a video uh, where we put this through its paces along with some other 2.5 millimeter square cable. And it wasn't just the fact that it was probably lacking French chalk. It was also a little bit smaller than 2.5, mm, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, eco cable, <laughs> less copper. <laughs> yeah, but, so we're gonna show you that again. So it might be a case of you've done a second fix and you go in and start using these Ideal Industries uh, twin nerve strippers and you think, oh, the stripping tool's letting you down. It isn't, it's the cable gonna let you down. Is that the one? Yeah, so now, this, this is, the is one. worth This is worth seeing up close, find, isn't it? It's very difficult to find actually who made it. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, there we go then. So wait for it. Yep, yeah. I do like this. Nice and close. So. Ah, wonderful. You, you, that's, that's a nice trick. You've got all the uh, inner insulation and the outer insulation off in the one go. Do you want to do it again? Let's have another go. Yeah, let's have let's a little see. look. So, yeah, yeah, it's not the tool. No, and that's what, yeah, and you proved the same when you used your knife to try and strip it. Yeah, you, yeah I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to go through that process again. It was really, really difficult to hack bits of the outer PVC off. It's the cables issues, not the stripping tools issue. So we've done twin and CPC cables. Twin and earth, Gary. <laughs> you, you, you nearly for those just... people in Australia, there was a small delay there for you, son. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got twin and twin and earth cables. We've done flat flex. We've done single core cables, and we, we showed it on an ugly cable. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's great. You're doing it on the bench top. It's ever so easy on the bench top. So what we did, we put it to practice out there in industry, didn't we? So yeah. shall we see that next? So let's put them to a test in a real life situation. So we're into the box. Gentle squeeze. You can see how much cable's come through. Got plenty of cable there for the second fixing. Obviously, you can't go right up to the grommet in here, so there is going to be some of the outer sheath inside the box. There certainly is. Okay, and as you look there, I think that's acceptable for the accessory we're going to be putting on. Yeah, it obviously depends on the depth of the box and the accessory you're going to be fitting. It does, and just in a little close up when you just see it now, squeeze down, and then look how easy it is just to pull these off. It's slightly different, obviously, if you're in a dry line box because you've obviously got the ability therefore to move the cables around a little bit more than you have in that tile of box. So draw line box, I'm gonna strip these back quite a long way away from the point at which it comes into the box at the desired length, Gordon. Being a bit generous with those cables there, Gary. Yeah, okay, but we know what's gonna happen next is obviously once we strip these back, we can obviously move the cables back into the wall. So strip them off, super easy, look at that. And then you're at your position, removing the insulation, Two conductors at the same time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll pull them off. Look at that. Can't get much easier than that, does it? Prove it on a fluke. So you bite down, pulls them back, slide them off. This tool will speed up this cord and doing the old down lights. Okay, yeah, that's straight in. It's good how the cable actually passes through the body so you can get, yeah, you can get right the way up the cable there. Yeah, slide them off. And of course, we've got the ability then just to nip the conductor insulation off as well depending on the length required for the downlight. And again, it's two conductors at once, which is a big time saver. It is. So there we have it, didn't we? You made that look easy, oh, Gary. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's because it, it is easy. This makes it look easy. Yeah, anyone can do that. It's the tool that obviously makes it a, a dream to start that second fix process. Is there any other tools that we've got that we've used from Ideal Industries that are worth checking out on the channel, Gordon? We have actually. So yeah, if you're, if you're not in this world of Twin and Earth, or Twin and CPC, Check out some of the reviews we've done on the data cabling yeah. and the FT45, which is a great tool for putting those plugs on the end of uh, Cat6 cables. And I, again, I really, really like that tool. So again, check out that review. As always, we're interested in your comments. Are you currently using Ideal Industries Twin and Earth strippers? And I get confused with these CPC. Are you currently using them? How are you getting on with them? Is it your go-to tool when you're second fixing? Are you thinking about getting a set? Please leave those comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.